Every girl, every boy, come on up and up your eyes. There's a world right here, full of wonder and surprise. Let's go and find the thimbles! Thimbles, thimbles, thimbles. We're the thimbles! Butterfly with fluttery wings It always makes me happy It's one of my best things And you my little flower You're very special too One of my best things That's you <laughs> Did you like that little flower? Did you like my song? Oh Did you hear that? Do you know what that is? It's the fimbling feeling! I'm getting the fimbling feeling! Are you getting the fimbling feeling too? Are your fingers twinkling? Is your nose wrinkling? Is your top knot twitching? <laughs> it's the fimbling feeling! I'm going to find something! Hooray! I can hear a sound It's telling me there's something Waiting to be found Where is it? Where is it? What could it be? I think it might be over there Let's go and see oh, There is something to be found here Can you help me find it? Is it here? Oh no! <laughs> is it there? Oh, can you see it anywhere? Oh, oh, look! There it is! We found it! Oh, oh, it's big, isn't it? And it's round! <laughs> Let's go round! Round and round and round and round! <laughs> oh, how flurry! Oh, hello, Bessie! Look what I found. Oh, well, my Chuck, look at that. Oh, 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 oh. What do you think it is? Well, it's big and it's round. Oh, yes, Flory, so it is. A big, round, orange mat. Oh, a big, round, orange mat. <laughs> I wonder what I can do with that. Oh, oh, oh. Let's have a look, shall we? Oh, 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 oh,
now I'm going right into the middle. <laughs> oh, yes, Flory. There you are, right in the middle. I wonder what else I can put on my mat. Oh, I'm sure there are lots of things. I know. What about my best things? Oh, yes, what a super idea. There's nothing better than sitting on a mat with all your best things. Oh, yes, Bessie. I'm going to fetch Little One. She's one of my best things. Back in a minute, Bessie. Bye-bye, <laughs> Chuck. Whatever I am doing, wherever I may be, there's a special someone who I'm always pleased to see. She makes me Little one, do you want to come on my big round mat? <laughs> you do? Good, because you're my very best thing. Hmm. Now, what's another best thing? I know. <laughs> come with me and we'll find it. Another of my best things. It's my best flower. <laughs> One best thing, two best things. <laughs> I'm going to put them both on my big round mat. Ooh, wee. <laughs> well, little one, are you ready? Are you ready to go on the mat? What about you, flower? Here we go! <laughs> Me and my best things on my big round orange mat. Plenty of room. <laughs> I wonder what else we could put on the mat, little one. Oh, hello, Flory. Oh, hello. Hello, Fimbo. Hello, Pom. <laughs> hey. Hello, Fimbo. Rocket. Hello, Rocket. Look what I found. Oh. What is it? It's a big round orange mat. Hello, big round orange mat. Um, it's very big. Ooh. And it's very round. Ooh. And it's very orange. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Rocket. And look at me. I'm on it with my best things. Oh, yes, Flory. Little one and a flower. Oh, uh, can me and Pom and Rocket come on your big round orange mat as well? Oh, oh, Pom and Matt, Pom and Matt. Oh, of course you can. Yay! Yay! Oh, but oh. you've all got to bring your best things with you. Oh, oh, oh best things! Yes. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Trundle truck. <laughs> a pump trundle truck and the building blocks are best things. Oh, yes, and I've got my best things as well. Let's go and put them on Flory's mat. Oh, Flory's mat. <laughs> oh, hello, Thimbo. Hello, Pom. Have you got your best things? Oh, yes, Flory, look. Uh, my shimmy shaker, the crackers, uh, Pom's trundle truck and the building blocks. Are Pom's best things? Can we come on your mat now, Flurry? Of course you can, Thimbo. Oh, <laughs> yay! <laughs> Whatever we are doing, wherever we may be, we have some very special things we're always pleased to see. The things that make us happy, they make us want to see. <laughs> Our best things. Mm, oh, 
Is there going to be enough room for us all on the mat? And me! Don't forget Rocket and my best thing! Oh, oh. Can you fit me in? Oh, don't worry, Rocket. Here, um, pass it over here. Here it comes! Hey! Sorry, Fimbles. I couldn't decide which cushion was the best, so I brought them all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, is everybody on? Well, I'm on. Uh, Pam, I'm... Um, any room for a frog? Oh, of course. Um, oh. oh can anyone see any space for rockets? Oh, um, just a tiny little rocket-sized space. That's all I need. Oh, yes, look. I, I think it's rocket-sized. Oh, here I come. <laughs> <Whee -hoo! laughs> oh, we did it. Oh, hello there. Hello, Rolly Mo. Look, we're on a big round mat. With all our best things. Yes. Oh, so you are. Hmm. Now I wonder, would you have any room for a storytelling mole? Uh, oh, 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 I'm sure we can find a space for you somewhere, Rolly. Well then, I'll just go off and fetch a story. Back in a Rolly Mo. <laughs> When you take a look inside a book, who knows what you will see? When you take a look inside a book, it's fun as fun can be. With cats and dogs and birds and frogs, a monkey who says boo. Oh, oh, wonderful things, giants and kings, and maybe a fiddle or two. Oh, now what have we here? When you take a look inside a book, who knows what you might see? A story or rhyme, just take the time to read along with me. <laughs> oh, well, Fimbles, have you managed to find a little mole-sized space for me? Well, um... Oh, squeeze up next to me, Pom. Squeeze? Oh, that's right, Pom. Squeeze up as close as you can. Oh, squeeze! <laughs> Pom, squeeze! Oh, uh, yes. Thank you, Pom. Just right for a mole. <laughs> now, are you all uh, standing comfortably? <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Good. Then I'll begin. This story is called Off to Sea. <laughs> Sunil the Stripy Tiger lived in the jungle with his friends Jip and Jamila, the cheeky monkeys. One day they were playing hide and seek in the long, long grass by the side of the river. Look at this, called Jip. It was a boat. Ooh, let's have a ride in it said Jamila. The three of them sat in the boat. Whee! said Jip. This is fun. Where shall we go? Well, not too far, said Sunil. Jamila steered the boat into the middle of the river. The boat sailed into the sea. Let's find somewhere else to play, said Jip. Yes, I'm fed up with the jungle, said Jamila. Let's go exploring. All right, but not too far, said Sunil. They came to a big city. No trees to climb, said Jamila. Yes, and it's a long way from home, said Sunil. They came to a land of ice. Oh, it's too cold, said Jip. Yes, it's not like our warm jungle, said Sunil. They came to a hot, hot island. Oh, no bananas, said Jamila. No, not like the jungle, said Sunil. Then at last they came to a warm green land with lots of trees and long, long grass by the side of the river. Now this is better, said Jip and Jamila. That's right, said Sunil. This is home. This is our jungle. And they all played hide and seek again, happy to be home once more. So that was the story of the two cheeky monkeys who went off to sea. Ah. Ah, see! See! That's right, Pom. They went off to sea. Let's I see here. Oh, yes, Pom. Let's pretend this is the sea. Oh, oh and this 
this mat can be our island, can't it? Ah, yes. An island surrounded by the purple sea. Oh, we're on an island. Uh, the sea looks a bit chilly. <laughs> oh, what shall we call our island? I know. Thimble Island. Thimble <laughs> Island. <laughs> well, well. I must be on my way now. Ooh. Looks like I'll have to swim. <laughs> oh, go on, Roly. Go for a Roly swim. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, here goes. A splish, splash, splosh. A splish, splash, splosh. Bye, Bye Roly. <laughs> oh, oh, I love being on Fimble Island. <laughs> oh, what's that? It's Ribble. It's Ribble. <laughs> it's Ribble uh, on the other side of the Purple Sea. <laughs> Ribble, come. Oh, what's that, Pon? Oh, Ribble, come here. Oh, Ribble wants to come to Fimble Island. Uh, you can swim, Ribble. You can swim across the Purple Sea. <laughs> oh, I don't think Ribble can swim. Oh, no. Um... <gasps> swim! Pon, swim, get Ribble. Oh, oh. oh, come on, let's all go. <laughs> Crash splash! Crash splash! Crash splash! Oh, we did it! We're here! Oh, oh, where's Ribble gone? <laughs> Ribble! <laughs> oh, I've just thought of a new name for the island. Ribble Island! <laughs> Thimbles had a busy day today. Can you remember who found the round mat? Oh, that's right, it was Flory. It was big and round and orange. Flory, Thimbo and Pom put their best things on it. Oh, oh, oh. Rocket couldn't make up his mind, so he brought all the cushions. Then it became their island, and they even managed to fit my little ribble onto it. <laughs> Perhaps you can find something round to sit on today. Come and see us again, won't you? I must fly. Goodbye. Every girl, every boy, come on, open up your eyes. There's a world right here, full of wonder and surprise. Let's go and find the thimbles! Thimbles, thimbles, thimbles. Where the thimbles? Yes, a mole likes a hole in the ground I found. Whee-hee! Hello, Rolly Bo. Oh, what you doing? Oh, hello, Rocket. Ah, it's such a lovely day. I thought I'd sort out a few books. <laughs> Make a bit of space in my hole in the ground. 
Oh, a home for a mole is a hole in the ground. <laughs> oh, that's a nice tune, Rowley. Oh, a home for a mole is a hole in the ground. And a frog is fond of a living in a pond. <laughs> oh, that's very good, Rocket. A frog is fond of living on a pond. Hmm, how about... And a nest is best for a bird. Oh, yes. And a nest is best for a bird. Lovely. <laughs> oh, yes. I'm going to sing it to Fimbo. <laughs> you do that, Rocket. I'm just going to sort out these books. Ooh. Bye. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> It's <laughs> oh, poor, poor Rolly Man. Oh, oh, well, thank you, Baby Pom. But I'm all right. It's just a bit of dust from these books. Oh, it's gone right up my nose and made me sneeze. Oh. Huh? Rolly sneeze again? <laughs> oh. No, I don't think so, Pom. <laughs> Dear me, I'm just going to go and get some more books. Back in a roly mo. <laughs> oh, what's that? You ones know what it is? Oh, that's a fimpy feeling. A <laughs> pom get a fimpy bimpy feeling. <laughs> you ones get fimpy bimpy too? <gasps> Are your fingers tinkling? <laughs> Are your noses wrinkling? <laughs> Are your not not stretching? <laughs> oh, that's a fimpy bimpy feeling. Pom, go find something. <laughs> Feel a tinkling. Hear a sound. There's something awaiting to be found. Where is it? Where is it? What could it be? <gasps> something over there. Let's go and see. <gasps> There's something to be found. <gasps> Will you want to help Pom? <gasps> Where could it be? Very comfy under your paper leaf blanket. Oh, what a clever idea, Flory Love. Oh, hello, you guys. Oh, hello, hello Pom. Hello, Pom. <laughs> <laughs> look, look at Pom Fimpy find. Oh, I say, pretty feathers, Pom. Ah. Oh, 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 oh. oh, yes, <laughs> very pretty feathers. <laughs> You got pretty feathers too. Oh, oh, thank you, baby Pom. Oh. Do you know what this is, pet? No. It's a feather duster. A feather duster? Oh. Hello, feather duster. Flap, flap, flap. Can you use it for dusting, Bessie? Oh, yes, you can. You can use it to make your home all clean. It's a bird. It's Pom Dust. Oh, oh, it does look like a bird, doesn't it, Pom? Oh, Pom, make home a dusty bird. Oh, yes, Pom. We could make a home for dusty bird. We could make a nest. Oh, 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 what a super idea. Oh, oh, Bessie, what do you make your nests with? Oh, now then, let me see. Well, we make them out of sticks and grass and all sorts of bits and pieces. <laughs> 
Let's have a look. This bird has made her nest out of grass and mud. They're ducks, and they like to make their home by the water's edge. They like water, don't they, Betty? Yes, they do. <laughs> now, do you know where sheep live? Um, fields? Do they live in fields? That's right. Home for them is outside in a field. What's that? That's a horse, and his home is called a stable. That's right, it's a dog, and his basket is his home. Do you think we could make Dusty Bird's home out of bits of paper? Oh, yes, that would do nicely. Then I've got just the thing to make a nest for Dusty Bird, Pom. Look. Huh. We could tear up some more of this paper and make a nice soft nest. <gasps> Pom, help! <laughs> Dusty Bird came to visit one day, <laughs> said good morning, and stayed to play. <laughs> Dusty Bird came to visit one day, said good morning, and stayed to play. <laughs> oh, oh, there. Oh, that's enough paper. Let's put it uh, oh, oh, in the trundle truck. Then we can show the others Dusty Bird's nest. There. Oh, there. <sighs> there. Oh, hello, Fimbo. Oh, what are you doing? Hello, Rocket. Oh, I'm just drawing something. Oh, yes. Oh, what are you drawing, Fimbo? Well, it's a picture of you, Rocket. Of me? <laughs> yes, I drew it just for you. Oh, thank you, Fimbo. Ooh, it's tippity toppity. <laughs> now, I've got something for you. It's my new song. Do you want to hear it? Do you, do you, do you? Well, yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's mine and Rowley's, really. It goes like this. Ahem. Oh, a home for a mole is a hole in the ground. But a frog is fond of living in a pond. <laughs> uh, a home for a mole is a hole in the ground. Yes. But a frog is fond of living in a pond. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, it's catchy, isn't it? <laughs> yes. And thank you, Rocket. You've given me another idea for a picture. Mm. <laughs> Can you guess what it is yet? <laughs> He's got a long nose and big hands and he's all cuddly and furry. <laughs> oh, it's Roly Mo! You've drawn Roly Mo! <laughs> oh, a home for a mole is a hole in the ground and a frog is fond of living in a pond um, and a nest is best for a bird. Yes, a nest, nest is best for a bird. bird. <laughs> <laughs> and that's given me another idea for my drawing. Mm. Hmm. Guess who this is going to be? I'll give you a clue. He's small and fluffy and... <laughs> oh. um, what was that? I don't know. Uh, let's go and see. Come on. Yeah. Hey. Oh, hello there, you two. We heard a funny noise rolling. Oh, oh, oh. Did you now, Fimbo? Joe? Dear, dear me. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Fimbo. Oh, oh that was a Big sneeze, Roly. Um, are you all right? Oh, oh, yes, thank you, Fimbo. Oh, oh, dear me, it's all the dust on my books, you see. I'm cleaning out my mole hole. 
Fimbo liked her song, Roly. Oh, yes, I've been drawing the animals. Look, here's a mole like you, Roly. Oh, that's a very good mole, Fimbo. And this is a frog. Oh, it's a rocket frog. Mm, very good indeed, Fimbo. <laughs> well, are you ready for a story, do you think? Oh, yes, please. Um, Can we have one about an animal, Roly? I should think so. Back in a Roly Mo. <laughs> When you take a look inside a book, who knows what you will see? When you take a look inside a book, it's fun as fun can be. With cats and dogs and birds and frogs, a monkey who says boo. Oh, wonderful things, giants and kings, and maybe a fiddle or two. Oh, now what have we here? When you take a look inside a book, who knows what you might see? A story or rhyme, just take the time to read along with me. Right then, are you all sitting comfortably? Uh, yes, oh, yes. Oh. Good, then I'll begin. This story is called The Tortoise and the Hare. Once there was a hare who was very good at running. I'm the fastest runner in this field, boasted hare. I'm probably the fastest runner in the world. The other animals were a bit fed up of hearing this. So one day a little rabbit said to hare, If you're so fast, why don't you have a race with us? A race? said Hare. Oh, none of you could run as fast as me. I'll have a go, said the tortoise. You? <laughs> laughed Hare. You are the slowest creature in this field and you're going to race me? <laughs> yes, said tortoise. All right, said Hare. Ready, steady, go. The Hare zoomed off. The tortoise started to walk slowly and steadily. Halfway to the finish, the hare stopped. He couldn't see tortoise. He was so far behind. Oh, I might as well have a little snooze, said hare. And went to sleep. The tortoise carried on slowly and steadily. The sun was going down, Hare was still sleeping, and Tortoise went on slowly and steadily. Soon Tortoise could see the finish. The other animals were all cheering. Come on, Tortoise! Hare woke up. He could see Tortoise ahead of him. Oh no! he said and ran to catch him up. But it was too late. Tortoise went slowly and steadily past the finish. The tortoise has won! Hooray! You see, Hare, said Tortoise, sometimes slow and steady wins the race. <laughs> there, so that slow old tortoise was the winner. And he had to carry his shell too. Um, a tortoise has a shell which he lives in as well. Ooh. Ooh. Lovely. Another animal for our song. I'm going to draw a tortoise now, Roly. Oh, and I'd better get back to sorting out my books. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, dear me! Oh, that was a big one, Roly. Oh, poor, poor Roly Sneeze. <laughs> Only a little sneeze that time, Bob. Not to worry. Oh, these books are dusty. Yeah. Roly, Pom got dusty bird. Oh, 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 I say, is that a bird, Pom? Yes, it's Pom's dusty bird, and we've made it a nest to live in. Just like our song. Sing, sing. Oh, 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 a home for the mole is a home in the ground, but a frog is fond of a pond, I've heard. A tortoise has a shell which he lives in as well But and a nest is best for a bird Achoo! <laughs> Pom dust the books are rolling oh, oh, I say, how handy! A feather duster dusty bird Thank you, Pom 
<laughs> Look! Oh, oh, what have you got there, Thimbo? I've been drawing, Flory. Look what I've made. <laughs> is it a book, Thimbo? Yes, it is. And it's got all the animals from the song in it. Oh, yes. Here's a mole, like you, Roly. And a frog like me. Oh, oh, yes. And a rocket frog, too. Just like you, Rocket. <laughs> Two, three, four. <laughs> oh, a home for a mole is a hole in the ground. But a frog is fond of a pond, I've heard. A tortoise has a shell which he lays in as well. But a nest is best for a bird. Oh, a home for a mole is a hole in the ground. But a frog is fond of a pond, I've heard. A tortoise has a shell which he lives in as well And the nest is best for a bird <laughs> I can hear a little bird cheeping uh, Ribble! 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 <laughs> oh, I think a certain little chick has found a new nest oh. Ribble? Ribble! <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> the thimbles have had a busy time today. Can you remember who found the feather duster? That's right, it was Pom. She called it her dusty bird and she made a nest for it in her trundle truck. <laughs> Tom used the feather duster to help Rolly clean up his books. <laughs> Do you remember who got into Dusty Bird's nest? <laughs> I think Ribble likes his new nest. Perhaps you could clean something today. Come and find us again next time, won't you? Now, I must fly. Goodbye. <laughs>